Hello. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Selenium Python training program. In the last session, we studied a brief introduction about locators, how to identify various page properties or uh, different object properties and uh, how to capture that information and uh, creation of a uses of those properties in a basic script. Now, I would like to create a new scenario. Okay, so my scenario is perform search operation on a bing.com. Okay, this is what my scenario is. So the steps what we need to do in achieving this scenario is open the browser, open the bing.com application, identify property for the search field and use it in the program and use a desired command to perform it and identify the property for search button and use a desired command to perform this operation okay so these are all the four different steps which we people need to follow in achieving this scenario so what i am going to do right now is so let us so what exactly the best practice i am going to explain you now so before jumping on on automating any scenario so what we need to do is we need to verify that the scenario manually first this should be a first step once after we verified the scenario then we can perform the further operations so on my browser i am opening the bing.com and i am entering some name and I'm clicking on a search button. That's it. This is what my scenario is. And I verified that scenario manually. Good enough. So go back here. And if you switch back to the steps, I know the command to open a browser, which is webdriver.chrome specifying the exe file location will open the browser. And even in the last session, we studied in order to open an application, driver.get command, and for which you need to specify the application URL which you want to open, which can be done. So I know how to handle the first two steps. So let us create a new program and place these first two steps there. So I'm creating a new Python file demo three, and here import okay from selenium import web driver this is the first thing and then driver is equal to web driver dot chrome and we need to specify the executable file path so i have already used this line in a previous script copy that line and paste it out over here to save my time and after that i need to use a get command so driver dot get and specify the application url www.bing.com i have specified the url so we are done with the first two steps then the third step is identify the property for the search field how to identify a property for any object we studied earlier right click on a desired object and choose an inspect on that object automatically corresponding properties related to that object will display and this object has an id class name these many properties among all these things i am preferring an id property double click on that id and right click copy the property now switch back to your program driver dot so we need to use a find element as we have already studied which command we need to use in order to identify an object see here find element see this command by id we have an id property so i'm using this one and in the double quotes specify the id property so driver dot find element by id is a command which will be identifying my object which will be identifying my object and once after we identified our object as per my step three it needs to enter a value into a search field so or else enter a value into that field itself right in order to enter a value into that particular field we need to know which command we have to use so here 
I'm using a dot and let us see the commands whatever we have clear I don't think it's um, the valid command for that so I'm just typing here and we have a send the keys the command send the keys is a command that we are using in web driver in order to enter a value to a particular text field send the keys to enter a value to a text field as of now either to enter or we can say append a value to a particular text field we can use this in keys command so go back here i'm using surendra and i have okay i'm using surendra and i entered my value so just uh, okay so once after we entered a value the next point what i need to do is okay once after we entered a value if you switch back to the steps we are done with the third step now switch to the fourth step identify the property for the search button so right click on this a search button inspect and it has some uh, four property whatever they have given label equal to four and it doesn't have a default of properties in this situation i am writing down my x path we know the syntax for this x path is okay we know the syntax for this x path is slash slash a tag name open braces at the rate of property type is equal to in the single quotes we need to specify the property value okay so before taking that property i'm cross checking whether my x path is valid or not i'm using control f here the html tag name for this one is a label and the property type is a for and a value is sp underscore go slash slash label open braces at the rate of for equal to i specified that and here it is displaying as one of one okay it is a valid property hence i am copying this x path switching back to my editor so driver dot find element and here this time we have an x path select the x path and now on this object manually i'm performing a click operation so in web driver also we need to use a click command to perform click operation on any button image or a link or a radio button or a checkbox whichever it might be we can use this click command itself so go back here dot click okay that's fine once after we are done up to here at the end you know uh, okay let's leave about the end uh, let me try to run this script and in the next scenario we'll explain what we need to add few lines at the end of your test script but let me run my test script run as a demo three whenever i am trying to execute my test script it opened a browser that's fine and in which it's opening a bing.com and it entered a value to the search field and it clicked on a search button so the search results got displayed here so i'm just closing my browser okay just i'm stopping on my execution of my test script okay so once it got executed up to here if you clearly observe in the last session we created one scenario and it launched a browser and in this situation also it launched an another browser we are not writing any commands to close the browser right guys what it will happen if we are not closing a browser usually our system will allocate some memory for every program after some time if we are not terminating the browsers means we will encounter some memory issues and the speed of our machine will be reduced okay to get rid of those issues at the end of every program we are using a quit command what is the significance of a quit command means it will close the browser and it will release the memory which is allocated for that program and uh, directly you know once after okay let me run my script this time and see run as a demo 3 run this a demo 3 it launched a browser it opened um, it should open the bing.com application it terminated the browser i didn't see whether that action got performed or not so that's the reason before using a quit command we use a time dot sleep 
okay we use a time dot sleep for few seconds so time is the one which we are using this in python to specify certain amount of time and it is asking import time so i have a imported uh, this time directly see on top of my test script it should have a import time so using this time what it will happen means time dot sleep this is a command which will wait for two seconds which will wait for two seconds and here quit is a command which will terminate the browser and release the memory so at the end of every program it's mandatory for us to add this time dot sleep followed by this quit now this time when i execute my test script after performing the operation and before terminating the browser it will wait for the specified time interval and then it will terminate the browser so that as an end user we can see whether that action got up performed or not okay we can see whether that action got up performed or not so this is the way how to create a simple program and how to use it guys so that's all i have for today see you again in the next session thank you bye bye